Plastic pollution. Hmm, everybody has the same problem, especially third world countries. Why? Because when big country, big com countries that have this all this plastic in great big bundles, they load it pour a pour onto a container ship and ship it to a third world country, and they pay the indirectly the people to take plastic bundles, big bundles. And to, you know things to like to be sorted and everything else. And what they do is they take the plastic and they got these great big burn pits and they burn all of it. But that adds to pollution. Yeah, that sure does. Do they recycle it? They're not prepared to recycle it. Something like computers, you know, where they recycle the metal, they they burn out the rest. But there, there was a treaty signed by um, almost 3,000 participants. And they got seven months to figure out a plan to, to do this before they go, go meet it again in, in the United Nations. And what will happen? Well, there's pollution to our oceans, and pollution to our land, everything else. Um, they're looking for a way so, well, we, we can recycle it. It's not going to be recycled. Well, 1% will be recycled. 99% of it will be flushed down the toilet, you might say. Um, uh, sent to third world nations, and what are they going to do? They're going to burn it all. <laughs> well, if they could burn it back in the capital, um, capitalist countries. Oh, no, they can't. There is environmental laws in this country that's saying, in America, that's saying, you can't burn that plastic here. You either figure out how to recycle it, you can't, you can't do it. So what's the cheapest way to do? Send it to a third world nation. Let them have the problem, which they will fill up the oceans with. Some of them that just do, do is they wrap it up and put it on a barge, go out to the middle of the oceans and drop it. And it sinks to the bottom of a um, trench. Oh, yes. Nobody will notice it for the next four billion years. <laughs>